it is now. There we go. Hey everybody, what's going on? If you haven't seen humans on camera before, I'm Sam. My wife Amanda and I are fosters. We've been fostering for seven years and have fostered over 180 cats and kittens, including on screen right now uh, the Mooresdale kittens and Mama Jean. Um, oh, I'm not awake. Okay, uh, yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Our current goal. What? Missing something. Our current goals are uh, to raise money for our food and litter or get food and litter donated. So you can head over to cuteavalanche.com slash wishlist or slash donate for either of those things. We will be hosting our fifth annual Super Bowl, February 11th. So mark your calendars and come back and join us wherever you're watching us today. Uh, we do these chats three times a week, Mondays at noon, Wednesdays at 9 p.m., and Saturday mornings at 9.30 a.m. We do these chats to give updates on the cats and kittens, as well as give you an opportunity to ask us any questions you may have about them, what we do as fosters, cat care in general. So please feel free to ask questions. Um, and if you're out there in the chat, drop a hi or some emotes so we know you're listening, but feel free to lurk. And, of course, join us February 11th for the Super Bowl. Head over to superbowl.com for more info. Hello, Ormick. Uh, my chat window is not working in the other place. That's weird. <clears throat> All right. Um, why? 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 Anyway, thank you, CG. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um, so, real quick, uh, bah, 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 bah. yeah, um, hi, you good? What's up? Uh, for those who don't know, um, okay. Whew. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, yes, Queen, that is what their new format is, is that I go off into the small box. I don't know if you've been here for the last three or four chats, but that is what we've been doing. I just do the sort of cold open announcements on full screen, and then we flip it. Um... Hello, Insomnia. Uh, but I am also probably moving cameras around today, is my thoughts. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just... Mom had some, some issues last night. She puked up basically an entire meal. And for a second there, I thought maybe something was happening again. But I think she's fine now. She had some pretty stinky poops, too. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so we got uh, Mama Jean and her six kittens from the East Valley Shelter almost two weeks ago. Is that is it now? A week and a half? I can't. Time means nothing to me. Um, they're all doing good. All of the kittens have opened their eyes. And, um, and we move them back to this side of the room as they're about to start getting mobile. And we're probably going to set up the test bill pretty soon. All right. So let's go to... Let's do this and this. Okay. Uh, legit had a dream last night that I found a pregnant stray and rescued it, and Amanda came over to give me pointers on it. <laughs> Just meant specifically Zoom 7? What? Yeah, except 7 is the shot that I'm on. But as I said, I'm probably going to switch cameras. But also, currently, one is way closer than seven gets. Um, Hi, Mama. Can I pick up? How you feeling? How you feeling, Fluffy? Look how good she is. What happened last night? She is so cute. Yeah. 
No, that's as zoomed in as it gets. It was zoomed in before I got here. Because I zoomed it out. Oh, let's turn the auto. Um, that's what I was saying, is one is way closer than seven. Um, that's pretty. It was so far out, because it's so far away. <laughs> um, right, let me turn the auto uh, focus off of one. Uh, right on, no worries. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe I'll leave it like this for now, and I'll just change the ABC settings on 7. Um, I don't know, like, I like this lower shot. 7 would still be higher, even though I could probably get an equal shot from a different angle if I move it slightly over. Um, but yeah, just want a higher angle with a good camera. Uh, as the higher one, five it isn't great. Yeah, no, five is definitely not great, of course. Um, I think just because of other things, I'm going to leave it like this for right now until we set the Tesco up, and then yeah, then we'll switch cameras around, um, which is probably only a couple of days away, maybe a little more, but it's not long. Besides, this way you get right up in their faces. It's pretty good. How's everybody doing? Sorry, I've been just running around a whole lot, so I'm a little out of it right now. I'm in a massive fur ball, so I just want to... Yeah, I get it. Uh, FYI, for those of you who haven't seen it, on Amanda's Instagram account, per Foster Mama, she has a uh, post with all of their names and pictures next to them, so you can see who's who better. So look for that. Grandma call it. Okay. Totally adopt three of them. If I win the lottery, I'll let you know. Right on. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, the names are Amy, Ruby, Ola, Maeve, and Eric, and Otis. Uh, and let's see, I pretty much know at least half of them. So from right to left, with the, the calico on the very end by Mama's tail is Maeve, then Otis, then Eric. But process of elimination, I believe the one she's got her paw on is Ruby. And then Amy and Ola is toward the scratcher, kind of under. Pretty sure that's everyone. I may have Amy and Ruby flipped. I can't tell without seeing her actual face. <laughs> Um, two calico tabby and cow tabby. So the cow tab, I mean, that technically both cows are tabbies. One just is so dark that you can't tell on camera. Um, so I assume you mean the lighter one who is kneading right now. That's Eric. And the two... Uh, Torbies, I believe, are Ruby and Amy. Um, do we know if the black and white are... Yes, the black and white are boys and the calicos are girls. So if they have brown on them, they're girls. Or orange, depending on what your monitor is set to look like. <laughs> Yeah, if they're purely black and white or gray and white, then they're the boys. <clears throat> the 
would be more accurate to say, I can't even pronounce that, so how accurate would that be? Holstein Frisland, 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 what? More accurate than cow? What does that even mean? Maybe it would be more accurate to say cow patched. That's what they call it, man. I don't make the rules. Uh, night light settings on a PC blue black. So it's definitely orange. Um, yeah, it's pretty orange. Some of them a little, little tanner than orange, but yeah, they're orangish. where a girl was complaining they named the cows all girl names and someone commented I wouldn't want to have it <laughs> yeah but when we refer to a cow it is simply referring to the coat and not uh, anything specifically about the cat while calicos are always female uh, it is simply a description of the coat and not of the gender, that just happens to be the truth. Pick my three. <laughs> okay. Um, so in other news, for anyone who missed it, uh, January is adopted uh, to a home with a kitten, uh, not as young as her, but a younger cat. Um, and uh, Itza and Speaking Rain were adopted together to a family. I don't have a whole lot of details on that off the top of my head. Um, so the cats we have outside of our house right now are George and Marty at the Cat Cafe Lounge. And wing feather, wing feather, and brown deer, who were at the PetSmart in Canoga Park, but wing feather ended up having a patch of ringworm show up on his uh, paw, and uh, we had already taken these guys in, so it was like we can't really take them because that would put them at risk. So thankfully, our uh, foster friend Cynthia took them in and is treating them. So far, the ringworm has not gotten worse, but it definitely has not gotten better. And it's been long enough that we should have seen some signs of improvement. So she has changed, uh, I think, the medical regimen that he is being given to a different medication. and Or I think it's really a topical, if I remember right, um, <clears throat> uh, topical ointment. So we'll, we'll see if there's any updates about that soon, but for right now, that's where we're at. Uh, and let me just take a quick look here. By the way, we are multicasting on about eight different platforms. So if you are on a platform somewhere and I am not replying to you, uh, I should be able to see everything. You could jump over to Twitch or you know and be like, hey, you don't see me. <laughs> over on X platform where you should be talking and I'll see what I can do about getting that chat in. Uh, cool. Cows are black and white. Black and white are. Well, not here, they're not. <laughs> okay. Look, man, I gotta appeal to people with the dumb brains, so cow it is. Did you know Lexi's dad is a tortoise shell? No, that's cool. What is in this bag? Oh, right, springs. Okay. Cool. But yeah, so... Last night, mom, like right before we went to bed, like puked up her entire dinner, which may just be that she ate it too fast. Um, but yeah, if you notice anything like that, please do a cam alert. Uh, I am going to be in and out today, but 
That would be good to know. Um, her mom is Persian, and people are in the Azure. Nice. She didn't try to move them back. No, she has not tried to move them back. Uh, Amanda does have a heating pad over here somewhere. I'm not sure if it's centered under the gray bed, and and that's part of the reason, or if it's not. I assume it is. But yeah, you know, I think um, I think there's a bunch of contributing factors where it's like. When she first got here, it was a little farther away from the window, which was very bright, and um, uh, like ha happens to be a lot more noisy. And we were kind of new, and like she's in a brand new situation. So I think all of those factors contributed to her being like, "No, I'm going over there. It's quieter and stuff." Uh, and now that she's kind of gotten used to us, gotten used to the place, and isn't really in fear of leaving. Uh, when we moved them back, I think she was pretty good. I think it was past me going to bed, I would have done it. No, yeah, I was literally in the room when it happened, but if if it happens again, I'm definitely pro you know, going to be in and out today, so I may not be around right away. So it would be really good to know. But yeah, like it, literally, it happened as I was breaking down the room for, for nighttime. Um, it's under everything. We don't put the heating pad on top of things or we'd have to clean it all the time. <laughs> it's never, you never see the heating pad. Unless something has gone horribly awry and they've dug it out. Uh, if I see things... Alright, thank you. I mean, she seems fine right now, so... I think we're good. I think yesterday, her third, she has four meals a day right now, and her third meal was kind of this thing where Amanda and I were like, wait, did you feed her? And I was like, wait, I thought you fed her. Uh, so it was a little late, so I think she may have just scarfed it down too fast, um, and that may have caused her to puke it all back up. Um... Her breakfast didn't last. The one calico was screaming at her. She'd been nursing, sleeping there pretty much the entire time. So right on. And she seems fine. I gotta get a picture of this one. This is ridiculous. Close your eyes back up. I, you were the one I was coming for. She was throwing up quite often, so I split it. Give her half in the morning. How big is a pouch? Half in the afternoon. The first few weeks, she didn't sick at all. She had a couple times since, definitely less now. Yeah. She was barely eight when she laid down with them, so I wasn't sure if she's finished or taking it easy. I mean, there's nothing left in the bowl, so she clearly finished it. Well, I have to do a comparison. She 
NFT one. I wasn't looking at yeah. Oh, I should take that to the kitchen. Um. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have ounces. We do technically have grams on things as well, but ounces is usually the prominent um, weight. So that's what I typically pay attention to. I was trying to see if I had a can around me so I could see what it said the grams were. Three point five ounces for a whole pouch. Yeah, that's that's a little much. We so for her, because she's a nursing mom, she actually does get around three ounces, um, but not more than that. So two to f 2.5 to three ounces. For our house cats, uh, granted they're eating raw, mixed with a little bit of wet food, um, they get 1.5 ounces per meal three times a day. But raw foods, uh, you don't have to feed them quite as much as wet food. So when they were getting wet food, I think it was closer to 1.7 or 8 per meal. And then three meals a day. Give her a whole one at night. She could make last one. Yeah, but that stuff will go bad if she doesn't eat it in one sitting. Oh, it might make it last about half an hour. Also, it's be just better to spread it out for health concerns of stuff. Anyway, I was going to say, I think if I was out like two meals. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. about 12.30, so I'm going to get back to running around doing work and stuff. I got some of the slow feeder, and you stop throwing up pretty much entirely. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a good part of it, too. Like, slow feeders really help. We got Moose a slow feeder, and because he was, like, literally, yeah, he would be the first one done eating, and after, like, three months of eating the slow feeder, like, he just learned to be slower. So, like, he is no longer using the slow feeder and is one of the last cats to finish eating when I feed everyone. And now Bear is like the one who uses the slow feeder. Uh, I found that was a little bit like, Yeah, we had some silicone ones and he, uh, Moose messed that one up pretty badly, so we got a ceramic one, which was much better. Um, but also the ceramic ones work a lot better for both wet and dry, whereas the silicone worm was like, we had like two, and one was like okay for wet, and the other one had like too many little crevices, and it was like really hard to uh, get at, which is why he destroyed it. And I was like, well, that's boils. <laughs> but the, the ceramic one's pretty good. I just find it easier to mash the stuff into the ceramic one because it doesn't, like, you know, resist. <laughs> like, it doesn't bounce back, if you will. Uh, Magic got the silicone told her to use it. It's not for it. Yeah, it was good for a little bit, but they destroyed it. Um, It says two and one fourth pouches. 
a day for a two kilogram cat, four and a half for a five kilogram cat. Yeah, but also, if you uh, only feed your five kilogram cat two times a day, it becomes a two kilogram cat. <laughs> is that a, oh yeah I have a package we do have a package CG thanks I'll open that and then I'll get a guy out of here it made y'all realize that it was yes for sure definitely uh, yeah if it hadn't been for that we wouldn't have gotten the ceramic one for sure um, 11 pounds seems like I mean Moose is 11 pounds he gets uh, you know when I was feeding them wet, closer to two ounces three times a day, but still between 1.7 and, and, and two ounces. And Nara is nine pounds, so she's the smallest, and she gets, uh, when it was wet food straight, it was 1.7 three times a day. Actually, wait, it was a little less, it might have been 1.5. Yeah, 11 pounds is just a big cat. When you get over 13, you start to get into Chunkyville. All right, let's open this. <clears throat> I think this is treats. I'm going to flip for this. Um... Okay. Alrighty. Dang it. Well, can't open it. There we go. That's the one. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Um, whoa. Somebody wrote us a novel. Okay, this is, I'm pretty sure, this is a past adopter. Can't believe uh, uh, Bastion and Amory will be six on the 24th. Such amazing part of my family. I'm so grateful for them. For their birthday, they wanted to pay it forward for your next litters uh, from Taylor. I will have to confer with Amanda to double check who everyone was. <laughs> Six years ago, wow, wasn't me. Yeah, I know. I almost made a comment. Um, wow. So what I thought was treats is just a whole, whole bunch of uh, droppers, syringes. Uh, this is more than we use in a year, I'm pretty sure. So this is awesome. And uh, um, hairball treats, which is fantastic as well so thank you Taylor if you're out there I'll make sure Amanda knows um, and I will leave these here just so that if I forget to say anything she sees them all right there great that's wow okay, just making sure nothing else all right yeah and I try to remember I know I know the names Bastion and Amory. I just can't place who that is off the top of my head. Uh, I'll take a quick look at my um, my chart. Oh wait, you know what? Amanda might have it on hers. She's better at getting the adopted name changes. So six years ago would have been... Are they on your calendar? If they are, they're on as their original foster names. I don't typically put the new names on there. But also because I don't typically get the new names. Ah, ha, 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 ha. They are from The Walking Dead Litter. It was Rick and Michonne. Uh, Arya's litter was 2018. 
Um, yes. That sounds about right. Unless they were at the end of 17. What are they on Amanda's list? That's weird. No, yeah, they were 2017. Yeah, they were our fall litter in 2017, Aria's litter. Um, how long did you have the GOT litter? I, I don't know, man. Like, I don't think we had them that long. I think they were pretty fast to get adopted. So they were probably only here three, maybe four months at the most. Into 2018. Yeah, I was saying they were the fall litter, so yeah, it would probably have been fall through winter. Or you could put up an accurate info. <laughs> we adopted her in 2018, but I think everyone else was pretty much adopted at that point. Hi, Mama. You want to say goodbye to everyone real quick while you're on the big screen? Okay. These are the people. Look here. See the fluffy? You didn't just put, just adopt her because she was left. Amanda, now Amanda knew she wanted that cat for a while. Okay. She's pretty good about being held. Uh, anyway. All right, gang. Uh, so it was Arya's siblings that got things for the new litter. No, no. Arya was from the Game of Thrones litter. Um, Baston and, or Bastion and Amory were originally Rick and Michonne from the Walking Dead litter, which would have come after Arya's litter by a few litters. So. Hey, means was just asking stuff for the sake of asking stuff. I'm not sure if there was a connection there. Yeah, no, I was... <laughs> um, yeah, we would have been on uh, Mixer at that time. I mean, I think when we were doing Mixer, we were pretty much multicasting to everything at that point anyway, but yeah, it was, it was, that was way back when. We weren't as focused on Twitch at that point. <clears throat> They were saying six years for 2018 already, and we're only three weeks in. Gotcha. I see where that came from. Okay. Well, cool. I'm going to get you back to the kittens and head out of here. Our next chat will be uh, Wednesday evening. Let's do boom. Blam. Uh, at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you uh, haven't already marked your calendars for February 11th at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard or 3 p.m. Eastern Time, do that. Was it 2022 that you got Twitch subs? That's the year I showed up. Ah. Might have been 2021, but it was close. I don't remember offhand. I feel like it's been longer than a year. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it was 2021. 34 months. Thank you, Means. Yeah, I was going to say somebody out there has way more than 20 months. <laughs> Three years. Yeah, there you go. So 2020, let's keep that math easy. Sweet. That's when I showed up. Nice. All right. All right. Um, oh, 
And if y'all haven't already, head over to our YouTube channel. There's a bunch of new videos coming out for the Super Bowl. If you wouldn't mind, even if you plan on watching it somewhere that isn't YouTube, uh, give that live stream uh, placeholder a like just to help boost it. Uh, but yeah, totally watch it here, wherever you, wherever here is for you. It'll be broadcasting on February 11th. Uh, you can find out more about that at superbowl.com. That's S-U-P-U-R-R bowl.com. Not whatever the hell closed captioning just said. Don't sue purple. I should totally get that as a domain name, superbowl.com. <laughs> Hey, what is this kitten doing? What are you doing over here? What is this? What is this nonsense? What is that? What are you doing? No escape. That's Eric. Hey, what are you doing? You want to take him back? I don't want him. Mama sat on him, so he was like, I gotta get out of here. Alright. Well, speaking of getting out of here, i got to get back to work. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you Wednesday evening or when I come back this evening in the chat form. Um, I don't think that's everything. All right. Have a good one. And if you've got an Instagram account of your own, use our hashtag cute avalanche when you post your fur pals. And it'll appear here at the slideshow at the end of every chat. Uh, as soon as this Powered by Juicer screen goes away, which they never used to do before, and now I'm like, maybe we should make our own. Oh, there's Amanda's post that shows you who's who, what character they're based on. Oh yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to bring up today. I need team names. So if anyone is a fan of the uh, show that we have based the characters on, or the kitten names on, uh, and you have suggestions for team names, uh, you can drop them in our Discord, over at cuteavalanche.com slash Discord, or, uh, yeah, Saturday I'll probably try and rally people for, for good names. Uh, a lot of people know the show. It was trending on Netflix. It was a <laughs> big show. Uh, the show, for anyone who doesn't know, is called Sex Education on, uh, on Netflix, Cows and Calicos. Uh-huh. But then there, there wouldn't, there'd be two cows. Uh, I'm splitting the cows up. I already have the teams. So it's one boy on each team. Uh, yes, uh, Milch, over on YouTube, before I go, I will answer this. Yes, they do have names. The names are based on the sex education show from Netflix, and they are... Amy, Ruby, Ola, Maeve, Eric, Otis, and the mom is Jean. And you can go to Instagram.com slash perfostermama, which is my wife's account, to uh, see individual photos with the names next to them so you can see who's who. Uh, I will be copying her post and putting it on our Q Avalanche Instagram as soon as I can. And then she'll yell at me for being like, that was mine. <laughs> but the people have the right to know. All right, I'm going to get out of here. I will uh, flip this back to, let's, I guess, put the pip on four while this one is doing its thing. Where did you just answer that? That was from uh, YouTube. I'm going to throw this over here so you can kind of see this kitten that's squirming around. And... Uh, yeah, it, it shows, it, sh it should show the, uh, the avatar here. So if I do you, it shows the avatar of the platform. No, it doesn't. I got rid of that for reasons. Never mind. <laughs> yes, that was from YouTube. All right. Have a good one, folks. And I will see you Wednesday evening. Enjoy the kittens. Uh, I will leave the sound up for now because nobody is home to make shrieking noises. So enjoy. Uh, thanks, Means. I think the new spot Mama has chosen is going to be an issue. What, you mean on the scratcher? That's just her, um, that's her, like, yeah, her, like, get away but be close area. But, meh. Alright. Alright. And, oh, let's put this.
us back to flippity flippity this. Not slacking. I've been doing so much stuff. <laughs> I'm getting out of here before I get any more slack. <laughs> oh, I gotta take these treats with me. 